Good evening, and welcome to tonight's episode of the Lola Hayes Mysteries. Tonight, it's going to be a bit of an interlude, a, uh, a special of sorts, as we take a, take a break from the Forgotten Age to play the Grand Oak Hotel, which is a fan-written scenario. Now let's get into it. One of the great things about the Arkham Horror mod for Tabletop Simulator is that a lot of custom scenarios that were created by the community are um, located here. Let me load them all up for you. The list is pretty huge, in fact. So tonight we're going to be doing we're going to be doing one of these custom scenarios here, the Grand Oak Hotel. This one's kind of an interesting one. It seems like it was uh, created near the um, beginning of the game, so I'm not sure if I'm not sure whether we're going to have some issues with the mechanics and uh, you know when thrown against the modern card pool. So I've set this thing up right here. I'll uh, I'll have everybody know I'll have everybody know that I have not seen the backs of any of these cards. I've never played this scenario before, so this is going to be a journey of discovery for both myself and all of you here. So the story so far, um, we are on our way towards Mexico. This time we're taking a car trip. So we've got um, Iktaka and um, Lola and Ursula and I guess all the other people who are going to be going on this expedition, all the other unnamed accomplices are going to be coming along with us. So I imagine that we stop into a, um, a pretty nice hotel um, called the Grand Oak. Now according to the scenario setup, the Grand Oak Hotel is in New York. But since you know we're starting in Massachusetts and we're heading towards Mexico, I'm imagining that we're in like Boston or something, and we're, um, we're stopping it at a fine hotel. I mean, this is Lola Hayes; she does not travel lightly. So, let's take a look. What do we have here? The Grand Oak Hotel. The old building has stood as a staple of Main Street for 20 years. Multiple expansions and renovations have kept its interior modern with a marble-floored lobby and a sparkling new elevator connecting its many floors. Polished wood and the smell of brass make the whole place exude a feeling of wealth and the upscale class of, well, in this case, Boston. Less modern, however, is the disturbing secret history of the well-known hotel. You stumbled across it by accident while following another angle. Multiple old and forgotten missing persons reports. Maybe a, maybe we uh, knew about a legend of the Grand Oak while we were um, we learned about it while we were on our way. Records of several traver, travelers who came to Boston for business or pleasure who checked in and never checked out. All the trails, dozens of them, go cold here at this building, and those are just the ones you found. Okay, so it looks like we're following up on maybe the legend of the Grand Oak Hotel here. None of the police reports had any notes. None of the Have You Seen Me classified ads were followed up on. Somehow all these people vanished, and no one followed up on it. No one until you, that is. As you approach the front desk, a politely serious concierge greets you, the one person willing to help with your nosing around. I'm glad you're here. It's about time this was taken care of. Then a small frown. I know you're serious people with serious methods, but this is a polite place of high society. Before I show you to your suite, I'd be happy to secure any of your more dangerous tools in our strong boxes. You put your luggage on the bellhop's trolley and leave a nice tip. It's time to get to the bottom of this legend. Okay, so we have set up the Grand Oak Hotel here. Um, it look from the looks of it, we uh, the Grand Oak Hotel is divided into floors. Looks like we have three locations representing the first floor. We have a couple of locations for the eighth floor. We have a couple of lo few locations for the fifteenth floor, including uh, our suite up here. So one thing I've been told about this one, uh, before we get started here, is that this one features a very interesting um, elevator mechanic, and I'm really uh, curious to see how this is going to work out. Maybe it, I have a feeling it involves calling the elevator a lot. So that's neat. It seems like we're going to have a um, kind of a somewhat morphing. Um, set of uh, location state based on um, where the which floor the locators at the elevators at so we'll see how that goes okay so we've set aside everything um, and this is this seemed kind of neat when I was reading the setup instructions earlier weapons are not allowed in the hotel the concierge informs us he'll be happy to keep them safely locked up okay so we've done that we are not going to smuggle any weapons into the hotel I mean we're not we're not mercenaries or anything, so um, Lola's weapons have been set aside. Um, I've also taken I've also taken the liberty of 
uh, using adaptable to bring in some fun clothes because you know Lola travels nice and we're at a nice hotel so she's gonna be wearing some fun clothes okay uh, other things that have been done to the decks since um, Threads of Fate it's time to stick to the plan this is a pretty neat card and um, I'm really going to enjoy it here in Lola because um, I've taken three um, economy cards and I've stuck them to stick to the plan. Um, as uh, I should note again that I'm playing a, a uh, play testing here a variant of Lola where she can use all her cards. So um, Ever Vigilant normally wouldn't work, would not work so well in a Lola Haze deck because you have to be a guardian to play Ever Vigilant and then you would have to play up to three guardian assets. So it's kind of limiting in a typical Lola Haze deck. But for this variation, well, Ever Vigilant seems perfect. I'm up to about 18 assets now in this deck, so that's about half the deck. So I'm thinking Ever Vigilant is a, is a good choice. Uh, I've also, it's also ni really nice to have Active Desperation just always available because um, it's one of those cards where I'm discovering that I only play it once a game if I draw it. And um, it's 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 just it's great to have around because when I need it I need it so it's it's I'm gonna stick it on the uh, stick to the plan knowing that I can um, play my uh... although interestingly enough I don't have my weapons this game so maybe it's not gonna work out so well oh well all right well I'll just stick it on there anyway and uh, you know maybe something will happen where I can bring in the weapons that's uh, that's kind of funny I'm talking all about active desperation but I don't I had to turn in all my weapons. Oh, that's too bad. I still have fingerprint kits, though, that I can use Active Desperation with. So we'll see how that goes. And it's nice to have the Emergency Cache just available. Um, emergency Cache, its power is highest on the first turn. So having it on Stick to the Plan um, is a particularly good use of Stick to the Plan because you know, the, the value of being able to be, knowing that you're going to have it first turn every game is uh, pretty high. Um, that being said, if we can get out, if we can fire off a solid Ever Vigilant on, for, on the first turn, then that's even better. Okay, so we're going to shuffle these fun clothes back into the deck. Okay. Now over to Ursula. I've spent her experience. I'm going to try something different out. I'm going to try Relic Hunter because the Tooth of Esli is working pretty well. And I've also, you've probably heard me um, mention a few times in the uh, previous previous games that the minus five token in this chaos bag really hurts. So what I'm going to, I'm going to do something about it. I'm going to play lucky dice. So between lucky dice and, um, so between lucky dice and relic hunter, that means that we can play a tooth of Esli and the lucky dice and the lucky dice should help us deal with the minus five. Okay. So I'm going to shuffle that in as well. Okay. So we've applied the mental trauma. All right. Let's see. Where do we start? We start on in our room on the 15th floor. Okay. Okay. Oh, there's the do not read, so we will not read. Okay. So we are going to start in our suite up here on the 15th floor. Okay. Let's see. What do we have to do here? Agenda one. Still air. The hotel seems normal at first pass. Guests move through the lobby and hallways, looking as cheerful or exhausted as vacationers or business travelers should. No one screams or attacks you. Well, that's nice. But something feels strange to you. As if you knew what was wrong, but then forgot just as quickly as you learned it. Okay, what do we need to do here? Missing persons. The concierge is on your side. He wants his hotel to operate normally, and he wants those missing guests found. But he's not prepared to unlock every door for you. You'll need to prove to him that something else is going on first. Some of the disappearances happened on the same floor as your suite, though, so you have somewhere to start. Okay, so we need to get six clues and put them on the lobby. So I'm guessing the lobby is going to have some sort of... Um, some sort of mechanism for dropping clues on there. Okay, let's see. Okay, so it looks like we've got everything on the unrevealed side. So let's check out our room. A pleasant suite, enough beds for all of you, and with the scent of clean linen. This would be a nice place to stay if you were on vacation and not hunting. Okay, so there's one clue here. One thing about the standalones is you often have to... The cards aren't totally scripted. Okay, so... In our room, the presidential suite. Oh, yeah, go Lola. Yeah, she travels in style. Okay, what do we have here? For three actions, you can draw a card, take a resource, and heal a damage or horror. You start next turn with one extra action. Oh, that's nice. Okay, get a little bit of healing, and we get a fourth action on the next turn. That's pretty nice. And uh, Okay, but there's only one clue here. Okay, so it looks like we're ready to get started. So let's draw our opening hands. Okay, first Lola. Okay, hide that. What do we got here? 
It's pretty decent. Um, oh yeah, there's no weapons, so I shouldn't be disappointed that I don't have any weapons. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna try to set up a good um, ever vigilant. So with five, re starting off with five resources. Let's see. That means we can play Saint Hubert's Key, Peter Sylvester, and Lone Wolf in a single action, and uh, with a single ever vigilant. So that's like perfect. Okay, so we're not gonna need the other Saint Hubert's Key. Um, take the initiative is always nice. So we'll just mulligan that. <laughs> we have two take the initiatives now. Okay. Okay, so this is actually looking pretty good because we're going to be able to play all of these three in one action. Okay, so now let's go over to Ursula. Remember, Ursula gets seven cards. Three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, there's our lucky dice. Oh, geez. Okay, so we've got two hand slots. We've got a field work. We've got the lucky dice. We've got a trench coat to evade enemies. Um, okay, so we might be... I guess what we're looking for here is maybe like an... Like an emergency cache or a fingerprint kit would be really nice, or other multi-cluing. So because of that, I am going to mulligan away the Eureka and the trench coat. Yeah, having two magic fine glasses, I'm... it's a little much, but we could be draw we could draw a whole lot worse than that. So let's what do we get? Nope, don't get that. Oop. Deduction. There's our multi-cluing that we're looking for. Okay, logical reasoning. All right, it's fine. Okay, so it looks like we're ready to go. Right, so we're probably going to want to investigate and get that clue. All right, so it looks like all these locations, they're all connected to each other and to the elevator. Okay, so let's have Lola go first here because she's going to have an explosive first action. Okay, so she's going to use her... Whoops. She's going to... Uh, ah, it doesn't go there. It goes there. <laughs> well, these cards are just connected to each other. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. All right, so she'll use her Ever Vigilant. Let's fix that. Okay. One time to play. Okay. So we're going to go one, two, three assets in her first action. Wow, I'm liking this card already. Okay. Spending one, two, zero. So one, two, two, three, four, five. Okay. Oh, yeah. She's going to start off as say survivor. It's always a good one. Okay. So first action, she loads up. Let's do second action. Oh, here's some options. Let's get moving. Okay, this is going to have two clues on it. Ooh, before investigating here, each turn a player must discard a card from their hand. So we're going to have... Um, okay, you're having a hard time remembering the details about who last went missing here. Okay, so we're going to have Ursula investigate this because um, it says like after the first time you investigate here each turn, you have to discard a card. So we'll let Ursula try to cover that in one action. Okay, and then I'm assuming we're going to have Ursula end our turn here. We're, we, we want Lola to be in a separate place to trigger Lone Wolf next turn. So we're going to go here. What do we got? Three clues here. Cannot discover clues here through investigating. Interesting. Parlay. Spend two resources. Discover a clue. Okay. Quite a lot of people out here, and yet no one is talking. All right, let's seed these three clues. Okay, so the six clues we need... Um, the six clues we need to uh, advance the agenda... Uh, sorry, advance the act are all here on the, third, on the uh, 15th floor. Okay, so that means we're going to need Ursula probably to grab that one and those two. So we'll definitely have her grab those two with her bonus. We'll have her move there and grab those two with her um, with her bonus actions. So we have two actions to set up. Okay, two actions to set up. Okay, I kind of want to play field work and a couple of magnifying glasses. Um, Lucky Dice will probably save for later after we've um, gotten a few more resources. Okay, so first action field work sounds pretty good. Okay, let's do that. Okay, so now we're going to... Second action, we'll investigate our room. So we'll just drop these two magnifying glasses. Okay, second action, investigate. So we're going to be at four, five, six versus two. Seems pretty good. Success. And we're going to get a free move out of it. Oh, really nice. Okay, so... Okay, so we'll take our free move and go here. Okay, and then we'll use Ursula's bonus action to search at four, five, six, and seven. Let's just get that out of the way. Oh my gosh. <laughs> is this bag this is this bag loaded? Nope, it's got fifteen tokens in it. Well sixteen tokens, including the elder sign. Okay, so we'll grab both those clues. So we are off to an amazing start, and we get a free move, and we still have an action left. Okay. So I guess we'll head yeah, we got to So if we head here, we can, I guess, oh, we can parlay. 
Uh, but we don't have enough resources to parlay. So let's um, let's see what this what's this elevator is all about. So we'll take our free move into the elevator. A recent addition to the hotel, the elevator is an invaluable tool for those who wish to avoid the stairwells, especially when they're still being rebuilt. Okay. It is connected to all locations on its current floor. Okay, I see how this works. It looks like the elevator's up here right now. Okay. Oh, and as an action, you can move the elevator to another floor. Oh, okay. Any investigator may use this ability from any location. Okay, so it sounds like you can move the elevator around. Um to another okay so you can press the button from another round and it it changes where the connections are okay so ursula has one action left i uh, can't really play anything else so i guess next we'll probably head to the ho probably start heading down to the lobby maybe we can start looking around see what, what's going on at the hotel bar okay so she really doesn't have much else to do so i guess last action we'll have ursula go down to the uh yeah, send the elevator down to the first floor. Okay, that kind of leaves Lola to grab all those. Uh, so she needs resources to do that. Okay, we're going to have some trouble getting that because we're going to need a lot of resources. Unfortunately, Lola can get started because of Lone Wolf because she's going to get a resource this turn, then take one, then get one from Lone Wolf. So she'll be able to at least get one clue. Okay, so we need resources, basically, if we're going to... Um, if we're going to grab these. Okay, so this ends the turn. So we will draw cards and take resources. Okay. Okay, shortcut. <laughs> shortcut with the elevator might be pretty funny. Okay. Okay. So we go to first doom and draw encounter cards. What do we have here? Whispering remnant. Uh-oh. We have no weapons. Okay. Any skill check involving Whispering Remnant uses willpower instead of fight. Okay. When you defeat the Whispering Remnant, test willpower. If you fail, return a clue to your location. Interesting. So some sort of a spirit. Okay. What do we have here? Becoming Nobody. Put Becoming Nobody into play in your threat area. Action. Discard Becoming Nobody. This must be done by another lo investigator at your location. What? Interesting. So it looks like there's some issues with Looks like both of these have the memory tag. Interesting. So I wonder that explains why um, the police reports were never followed up on, because it has to do with... Maybe there's a memory issue going on here. Neat. Okay, so we'll start with Lola here. So she starts with Lone Wolf. So she has this to deal with, because it deals horror. Okay, so I guess we can use willpower to defeat this thing. Yeah. So what are we at? We are at five willpower right now versus two. Uh, six willpower, in fact. So doing pretty well. Let's do that. Six versus two. Okay, so we defeat this. And then we have to test that to see if we have to test that. Okay, we're fine. So first action, we defeat the Whispering Remnant with our willpower. Second action, we'll parlay and discover a clue by talking to the people at the in the lounge. Okay, that was two actions. All right, this is going to be a while. So I guess we'll have Lola use her lone wolf a lot, so we'll have her take resources. Oh, wait, no, actually, third action. We'll play emergency cash. There we go. That means next turn she'll be able to parlay for um, for two clues. Yeah, seems good. Okay, so Ursula, on the other hand, let's not play the lucky dice just yet because we might need these resources for, well... There's really not much else we need the resources for. Okay. Yeah, we don't want to get it discarded or something. So let's get that out there. First action, play Lucky Dice. Second action, uh, looks like we can reveal the manager's office with... That seems neat. Okay. But let's do... Um, second action, let's go to the bar. Okay. No upscale part of Boston would ever be complete without the staples of ambient lighting, a sympathetic ear, and a fine selection of aged liquors. Okay, what do we got here? There are four clues here. Oh, dang, Shroud 5. Oh, okay, so it looks like if you, um, you can chat in the bar to lower the Shroud of the Thirsty Lion. Okay. The bar is full up of patrons tonight. Must be almost no one staying in their rooms. Interesting. Okay, so we have four clues here that we could go get, but the shroud is five. 
Okay, not to worry. Uh, we've got our free investigate, so we'll try it. Okay, we'll use field work, and we'll, um, we'll try to investigate. We're at four, five, six, seven on our investigation, so it seems pretty good. Seven minus two, but exhaust an asset you control. Okay, so we'll exhaust that. Okay, so we grab a clue. Okay, so this means we're at four. We're at five clues right now. Lola's going to get a sixth one um, next turn. Okay, so this is our second action. We still have a third one. Not much to really do except... I guess we can parlay and try to uh, lower the Shroud of the Thirsty Lion. Okay, I guess. So what do we what do we have? So if we do our parlay, we're going to be at four. Uh, if we use books, we'll be at four versus three. Okay, so she will try to impress people with her knowledge. Okay. Success. So I will use a resource to mark that its shroud is down to four. Okay. So that was all our actions. And we'll draw cards and take resources. Okay. Okay. All right. New turn. We're going to be at two doom out of eight. And let's see what we've got here. It must have worked. Choose one, spend an ammo, and test fight, or spend a supplier charge and test books. Interesting. Okay, well, we don't have either. If you succeed, you do not draw an encounter card during the meth next mythos phase. We fail or do not take the test. Okay, we can't take the test, so we take a damage. Okay. All right. Okay, and over here we have a confused guess with the hunter. That's weird. Okay. So we can parlay with him. Okay. I guess to send him to his room. All right. So let's start with Lola because she's up. She gains a resource uh, thanks to Lone Wolf. So we'll have her parlay twice. One, two, three, four. Do you get two clues? Okay. So we've got enough clues between the two of us to, um, looks like, to advance this. So second action, she'll call the elevator. All right, and then third action, she'll have to move into the elevator. Okay. Oh, now I suddenly wish I played shortcut on the elevator. Okay. So call the elevator, move into the elevator, and then we're going to have to bring the elevator down. All right, we'll leave it to Ursula to do that. Okay. So how do we want to do this? Let's grab some clues and head into the lobby. Okay, well, if we invest... Oh, we have this thing to deal with first. Okay, so we parlay with it, or do we evade it? We get four versus three to parlay. Three versus... Four versus two to evade. Um, yeah, let's start with the parlay, because it doesn't provoke. Okay, don't really want to fail this. Okay, so we get four versus three. All right, let's see how this goes. Okay, that'll be a failure. Second action, let's use Inquiring Mind. So we're at a bunch versus three. Okay, and we'll succeed. So we defeat him and draw a card. Okay, that was our second action. Third action, we'll move into the hotel lobby. Okay, investigators cannot enter the lobby during Agenda 1 or 2 if they have a weapon. During Act 1, lobby gains parlay. Test books 3 to share details with the concierge. If you succeed, move one clue from any, invest any investigator to this location. Okay, I see how this is going to work now. So that was our third action. We could get a free investigate, but we really can't. So, um, okay, so that was kind of inefficient, but we'll manage. Okay, so it sounds like we're doing a bunch of parlaying. Okay, so that is all our turns. Okay, so we'll draw cards and take resources. Nice. And nice. Okay. So what are we at? We are at three doom out of eight. And let's draw encounter cards. Oh, we have another confused guest on the elevator. Okay, and what do we have? It must have worked. Oh yeah, this is the thing about spending charges. We don't have either of those, so we'll take a damage. Okay. Okay. So what do we need to do here? We need to have Lola defeat this. And I guess Ursula can start parlaying. So we don't really need Lola to come down to this floor yet. I mean, I guess Lola can start parlaying. Okay, so if we have Ursula start parlaying, and then we can have we can have her call the elevator down to help, so Lola can come in. Okay, 
So I guess we'll have Ursula go first. Let's see. So she's going to be parlaying at four versus three. Okay. So it's not perfect, because it's not an investigation. Well, we're definitely going to have her call the elevator. Okay. So Lola can come in. So first action, she calls the elevator. Second action, let's just have her parlay. So four versus three, it, it's, it seems all right. Okay. Okay, second action, get a clue. Uh, put a clue on the lobby. All right. Okay, so here's another thing we could do. We could have her go back to the... Uh, Oh, I got an idea. This will be fun. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. Third action, we're going to move to the elevator. Okay, then we're going to, as a fast, we're going to play shortcut on the elevator, because I think we're going to be using the elevator a lot. Okay. Also, as a fast, we're going to use the shortcut to go back to the lobby. Then we're going to trigger field work, and now we're going to parlay again, because now there is a clue on the location, so we can use field work. What's that? from any investigator's location. Oh, it seems cheesy, but it's funny. Okay, so we're gonna be at six to parlay now. Minus two, okay. So we do that. Oh wait, that was supposed to... Did I do that right? First action parlay, first action call the elevator, second action parlay, third action move. Oh wait, never mind. that doesn't work. I was supposed to, have, I need to have a free investigate, not a free, uh... Yeah, that doesn't quite work. <laughs> I'm sorry, folks. Right, free investigate, not a free parlay. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll end it there. This means Lola won't get her lone wolf, but that's okay. Sorry about that, folks. Okay, so Lola will use the shortcut. Okay, so first act. So first action, let's have her start par Oh, yeah, we have this thing to deal with, too. Okay, so first action, she'll parlay with the confused guest. She's going to be at, let's do Seeker now. She's going to be at five versus three. Okay. Minus two, exhaust an asset you control. We'll exhaust this lone wolf. Okay, so defeat it and get a card. Okay, so that was first action. Ah, oh, fine clothes. We're probably going to need that for more parlaying. Okay, so second action, we'll, that's what we're looking for. Play the fine clothes. Third action, we'll parlay with the... Um, with the uh, concierge. So he's going to be at five versus one. Success. So we put a clue on the lobby. Okay, so that's our th that's all our actions. So I guess we'll draw cards and take resources. Fingerprint kit. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, trench coat. Not as nice, but we might need it later. Okay, four out of eight. Okay, so now we all we need to do is parlay and get those clues on. Lost time. Discard three cards, or lose two actions, or add a doom to the current agenda. Ow, that hurts. Draw three cards, lose two actions, or add a doom to the... I don't really want to do either of those. So we'll use the Ward of Protection here. Put a, put a Horror on Peter. Okay, what do we got here? Whispering Remnant. Okay, another Spirit. Okay, this uses Willpower instead of Fighting, which uh, is good, because Ursula's not very good at fighting. Okay. So let's have Lola go first because I have a feeling Ursula is going to end up in the uh, in the lobby. So she gains her lone wolf resource. Okay, and now we're just going to have Lola parlay at four, five versus one. Okay, five versus one. That seems good. First action parlay, success. Okay, second action parlay, success. These fun clothes are coming in handy. Okay, that's supposed to be refreshed. And third action, parlay. Also success, and we'll spend one of Ursula's clues. So we're at five out of six. Okay, so Ursula's going to finish this off. So first thing we'll do is we will return a clue to your location. Okay. So first thing we'll do is we'll use the shortcut, go here. Okay, we won't take our free investigate, but we'll trigger field work to use on the willpower test against the Whispering Remnant. So we're going to be at five versus two um, for the Whispering Remnant. Success. So we deal damage to it, and then we have to test willpower again. Okay. So we're going to be at three versus three on this one. Let's make that... Five versus three. Okay, that seems good. 
Ouch. Okay, so we returned a clue to our location. Okay, this seems like <laughs> returning it to the lobby seems kind of unintentional. So let's just return it back to where we found it. We'll just assume it's up there. Okay, that doesn't seem right to like return it to the lobby because that's like a good thing. Okay, yeah, I think I have feeling like hot take. We should probably this should be uh, instead of moving a clue to this location, it should be. Um, spend a clue to put a resource on the location okay okay so this was all first action okay second action let's do a parlay we're going to be at four versus three elder thing okay oh there's no elder thing here so let's just assume it's the um the elder thing is the um tablet x x is the total number of cards in your hand you may discard any number of cards when you draw this token oof um this is the time to use the lucky dice. Okay, let's draw a new token. Nice. Okay, so we succeed. Put a clue on. All right. So this was it was first action. Um, use willpower on the on the spirit. Second action parlay. Let's see what we got here. Okay. When the lobby has three clues on it, advance uh, six clues on it, advance. Okay. Okay. So we'll advance this. We still have one action left for Ursula. What do we got? Keys to the kingdom. The evidence mounts up over the over the evening until finally the concierge nods and concedes to you. I had hoped that this would be resolved quickly, but you've made it clear that you'll need to get to the into the back of the house. Here, this unlocks the other floors on the elevator. He hands you a thick key and gives you a nod. Good luck. I don't think anyone's been in the basement for years. Basement. Remove all clues from the lobby. Put the set aside locations for the storage, janitor's office, boiler room, and workshop into play. The elevator can now go to the thirteenth floor and the basement. Okay. Okay, so we remove all clues from the lobby, which we did. Okay. Oh, yeah, I guess we never uh, had to actually spend them, but so we remove them. All right, storage, janitor's office, boiler room, and workshop. Okay. Okay, so we have two on the 13th floor, two in the basement. Okay, I see how this is going to work. So we're going to scoot these down a little bit. Okay. And we're going to put the storage room and the janitor's office on the 13th floor. Okay, and then we're also going to do the workshop and the boiler room in the basement. Okay, so now we're getting a pretty tall building here. Okay, so Ursula has one action left. Let's see what um, Act 2 is. Who remembers? Your investigation has taken you through most of the hotel, but now you have access to a few locked-off areas. Your feeling that something is off increases as you progress. You find yourselves walking down hallways you don't remember turning onto and seeing walls where you thought there would be doors. You keep getting lost in small ways. You're going to need to find someone to show you around. Okay, so we need eight clues to, um, yeah, I guess we need eight clues to move to move on here. Okay, but we have, a but thanks, we have access to everything, and we've got a shortcut in the elevator, so we can get around here. Okay, so third action, what we'll do, um, since we just need clues again, um, we'll have Ursula move with her third action, and then she'll get her freebie to investigate the thirsty lion here. So she needs a stiff drink. Okay, so we move in there. We're at six versus four to investigate. Okay. Cultist is minus two. Okay, so we succeed. Okay, so that's going to be all our actions. So we'll refresh everything and draw cards and take resources. Okay. Oh, Expedition Turtle. That's not going to be very helpful in this scenario, but we've got it. All right, let's see here. So now we're going to go to five new amount of eight. And let's see what we get for encounter cards. Okay, another spirit for Lola. Okay, and lost in time. Discard three cards, lose two actions, or add a tune for the current agenda. Ouch. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to discard three cards, because we're not going to need this. I have a feeling we're not going to need this very much. Okay, and then we'll discard this. It kind of hurts, but... It's better than lose act losing actions or uh, adding a doom to the current agenda. Okay. Okay. So how do we want to do this? We need eight clues. That's shroud four. That just requires resources. Okay. So what we'll have Lola will start having her save up her money to um, kind of go back up there and get some clues. We also have other floors here. Okay. So what we're going to do, Lola needs to do this. Okay, Lola have, we can have Lola do that first. Oh, he was supposed to heal. 
Okay, then she's good at parlaying, so she can do that. It's only two more clues. Yeah, we get we could start start checking everything, including the manager's office. This is kind of cool. All right, but we have floors to go to. Where do we want to Where do we want to go next? Let's go to the eighth floor. Okay. So the tricky part is thanks to the thanks to hijinks with the elevator, getting both people up to the up to the eighth floor might be kind of tough. Okay, so if we have Lola um, defeat the Whispering Remnant, move into the elevator, just end her turn in the elevator. Okay, then Ursula can get into the elevator, send the elevator up, use the shortcut to get out of the elevator and start investigating. Okay, that seems kind of that seems like it, it might work out pretty well. So first action, we need to um, deal with the Whispering Remnant. We're not gonna we're probably not gonna use our um, Lord this turn. Now nah, we're not gonna use our Lord this turn. So we'll have, we'll be a survivor. Oh, whoops, wrong win. We'll be a survivor. So we're going to be at four, five, six versus two to fight. Success. So we discard it, and then we have to make a check to see if we uh, remove one of our clues. We don't. Okay. So that was, oh yeah, Lone Wolf. Okay, so first action, we take care of that. We also need to get to the, get to the elevator at some point. So I guess second action, we'll go to the elevator. And Lola's job might be to spend a bunch of resources to get clues. So we'll have her third action just be take a, take a resource. OK, that seems OK. All right, Ursula. She needs to get into the elevator, send the elevator up to the eighth floor, and then move out of the elevator. OK, so we'll do that. First action, move into the elevator. OK, second action. Oh, here we go. we got to make a little train here. Okay, we send the elevator up to the eighth floor. Okay, second action. Okay, now we'll shortcut out to go to this hotel room. Something feels off about this door. Guest registry shows that it's empty though. Maybe it's time to have a look. Okay, so we still have an action left. Okay, so there are two clues here. If an enemy would spawn here, instead spawn it in the elevator. Okay, everything here is covered in dust, furniture, Closed blinds, even the half-empty suitcase left open on the bed. Okay, so she still has one action and her um, freebie investigate. So we'll use the freebie investigate, and we'll use field work on this one. Okay, so four, five, six, seven, eight versus three. Yeah, success. If I had a fingerprint kit. Okay, eight versus three, and then last action we'll try to investigate again at six versus three. Success. Okay. All right, so we have three clues out of the eight we need. Okay, so I'm thinking, yeah, we'll, we'll we'll see what kind of treacheries we get. All right, so we'll draw cards and get resources at this point. Little Santiago, very nice, and Relic of Ages. Uh, it'll be a super unexpected courage, super, very unexpected courage. All right, new turn. We're gonna be at six out of eight doom. Okay, what do we get? How did I get here? Move to another room with no investigator in it on a different floor. Then exhaust two of your assets. Okay. We can just go straight to the lounge. Or we can go to a new place. Maybe we can just go, maybe we can explore something new. All right, where does she end up? She ends up. So it has to be on a different floor, did it say? Okay, so she's going to end up here in the storage room. One of several storage rooms on this floor. This one gives you the creeps, though. The door isn't quite right. Might be worth a look. Okay, it's gonna have four clues. It can be investigated using um, using combat instead of books. If you fail while doing so, though, take a damage. There's so much luggage piled up here. Where did it all come from? Okay, so one, two, three, four clues here. That was Lola's treachery. Oh, then exhaust two assets. So we'll just exhaust those. Okay. Okay, what do we got here? Okay, this is when we spend charges or take damage. So she takes damage. Okay. All right, so what do we need to do here? Grab some clues. Let's... Okay, so we'll use Lola. So we'll have Lola go first, so do that. We can do Fingerprint Kit, or we can do Lola Santiago. Fingerprint Kit will get us two clues total. Lola Santiago. Hmm... 
If we do the fingerprint kit, we also have look what I found as an option. So we'll do that. Lola Santiago, you're next. Okay, so first action, we'll play the fingerprint kit here. Okay, second action, we'll swap to Seeker and use the fingerprint kit. Okay, so we're going to be at one, two, three, four, five, six to investigate. Six versus three, that seems good. Okay, that is a success. So we'll get, oh, and exhaust an asset we control. So we'll get two clues. And I think we're going to investigate again with our third and, you know, maybe play Look What I Found. Okay, so we'll investigate again at one, two, three, four, five versus three. Zero, so we get another clue. All right, so that's three clues for Lola. Now, Ursula. Okay, so we'll probably have her go into this hotel room to clear out this floor. Anything else? Yeah, it seems good. Okay, so first action, we'll move into this hotel room. Guest registry also shows it as empty. What do we got here? Shroud two, five clues. When you end your turn here, oh wow, this room is immaculate. Why does your nose burn? Okay, so tons of clues to get here, but we have to take willpower checks, and if we fail, we take horror. Okay, so that's four clues we can use, and there are five clues here. Okay, I wish we had a fingerprint kit. Okay, exhaust the field work, and we'll be at eight versus eight versus two. Okay. Success. Okay. So we've got seven of eight clues right now. Okay. When you end your turn here. Okay, so this is all in the first action. So second action, investigate again. Success. So one thing we could do is we could have her go back into the elevator. Nah, let's just keep investigating. We'll take the horror on the chin. Okay, so third action, investigate. It's also success. Only Shroud 2, but a lot of clues. Okay, so end of her turn, she's going to make a uh, willpower check of 4. So we're probably going to fail that. We're just going to take some horror out of it. If you fail, search the encounter deck. Oh, kind of discard pile for memory and draw it. Okay, so that didn't work out so well. Okay, so we were at 3. Um, we ended up with a, a modified test of 1. We f so we didn't fail by, oh, okay, we got a one, we did fail by three or more, so we're going to take two horror, okay, and we got to draw a uh, memory card and from the discard pile, what do we got here, is it the top one or any one, search, okay, okay, so we could take damage, <laughs> we could do this, this seems funniest, okay, move to a new room, another room with no investigator in it on a different floor, then exhaust two of your assets, okay, that seems the funniest, so we'll have her go, We'll say she doesn't know how she got back to the bar. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay, so then we exhaust that. Okay, somehow Ursula just keeps ending up back at the bar. All right, so that is all our actions. So we will draw cards and take resources. Another little Santiago. Okay, take a resource. And, whoops. Ursula also draws a card, gets a resource. Eureka. Okay, new turn. We are at 7 out of 8 Doom, so we might want to advance pretty soon here. Who are you? Choose an ally controlled by any investigator. Shuffle it into its owner's deck. Ooh, I'm going to walk away now. No sudden moves, okay, buddy? Ooh, that's mean. All right. Sorry, Peter. <laughs> you're great, but I guess you're gone. It must have worked. Okay, this is the one where you take a damage again. Okay, so we do that. Okay, so what do we need to do there? Get some clues. I guess we'll have Lola go into like the janitor's office. All right, but this one's worth a victory point, so we gotta get this one. All right, so we'll be at five to investigate, five versus three to investigate. Seems pretty great. Let's play Lola Santiago first, so that way our um, investigation gets even better. So we'll be at six versus, six versus three. Success, all right, so we get that clue, okay. Anything with Shroud 1 that we could... Oh, if we get her back up there, we she can use Lola there. But let's check out this janitor's office. Oh, we got a... Oh, no, getting in there is... Nah, getting in there is going to involve a big check. Maybe next turn we'll do that. I forgot to take the Wolf. wolf. So second action, we'll move here, and then we'll 
I mean, we could try. We'll be at four versus four. I think I'll say, yeah, we'll try it. Okay, swapping a guardian. We're gonna be at six versus four. Seems pretty good. Seems pretty decent. Let's we'll give it a shot. Yeah. Okay, so we reveal the janitor's office. Okay. Unless we. Nope. What do we got here? Revelation. The revealing investigator adds a copy of Never Remember to their threat area. What? All right, so there are two clues here. Never Remembered. I think that was a set-aside card. Yep. Okay, what do we got here? Never Remembered. You earn one less experience in the end of the scenario. What? However, as an action, another investigator may test... Okay, may test willpower at five. If they succeed, discard it. If they succeed by two or more, exile it instead. Oh no, this is a weakness now. Your friends can't tell you what you what you did last week. Your family forgets your birthday. You aren't sure what your own name is anymore. Oh, this isn't good. Okay, so we got to get rid of that at some point. All right, Ursula, do your job. Okay, so that was our last action for Lola getting into the janitor's closet cluttered mess of tools and cleaning agents and yet arranged in a way that speaks of patterns and meaning just being here you feel like you're losing part of yourself somehow maybe you can find the janitor in this mess okay so we're gonna we're definitely gonna try to get the clues here for the victory points okay so ursula on the other hand she just found herself in the in the bar okay so what do we need to do she has one, two, three, four, five, six. If she has two more clues, she can make, she can just advance. Actually, we can just, oh, I guess we don't have to be in a particular location to advance. We can just advance. All right, let's do that. One, two, three. Let's burn all of Lola's four. And then one, two, three, four. Okay, so as a group, we'll advance the agenda. Sorry, advance the acts. Okay. Missing doors. You've tracked down the location of the hotel's head janitor. He moves around a lot. But right now, you know he should be in his office. If anyone is going to know the floor plan, he will. It took a, more than a little effort to get any information, though. Everyone seemed to require prompting to even remember he existed. Put William Hebben to play at the janitor's office. Okay. Let's think. So we had to force the door open, and now we find this guy. Okay, so he adds willpower to each investigator at this location. Okay. Okay, so he didn't play at the janitor's office. All right. Hmm. The janitor remembers. A wild-eyed wild -eyed man sits in the janitor's office, muttering softly to himself. As you approach, you realize that he's repeating names. Jim West, Mark Taylor, Sarah Naismith. The list continues, and you hear more than a few you recognize as those missing persons you are searching for. So, as, as this is an action, I'm guessing, parlay. Investigators at the same location as William Hebb may discard four cards to advance in addition to spending clues. Okay, so we got to spend four clues and four cards to uh, advance as an action. I never forget a face. Not again, I swear. Okay. So now we start Ursula's turn. Okay, so we need f we've got two of the four clues we need. Okay. So we need two more. Well, we're already at the Thirsty Lion, so we can just go one, two, three, four, five, six. We'll use Eureka, so we'll be at seven versus four to investigate. Success. Okay, so a few things are going to happen here. We're going to get a clue. We're going to trigger Eureka. One, two, three, two, three. Um, seems like a time to grab Jake. Yeah. And we get a free move. All right, so I guess all our roads are leading to the janitor's office. So we'll free move into... Oh, the elevation's not connected, so that's not going to work. Okay. Head to the janitor's office, I guess, is our free move. Okay. And we'll exhaust field work when we get there, because we'll try to open up the manager's office. Okay, so first action, we investigated. Second action, let's, now that we have, oh, we can't use field work, it needs a clue there, okay. Okay, never mind. So I guess we don't need our free move. All right, second action, it's Jake, Jake o'clock. Okay, third action, we'll call the elevator. 
because we're going to need it at some point. Okay. All right, that was our turn. So that's that's all our turns. So we'll draw cards and take resources. All right, new turn, eight doom. All right, here we go. What happens here? Murmured whispers. There is certainly something wrong. Your fellow guests seem to almost constantly confused. You've seen a man with an umbrella walk a loop of the halls three times checking his watch, but it hasn't rained in days. Dissonant thoughts cause small fights between travelers, and you find yourself struggling to remember conversations even an hour ago. You might be crazy, but you think you may have seen ghosts. You simply cannot tell if they were the restless dead or simply people you cannot clearly remember, and you feel it is getting worse. Each player tests... Oh, willpower, we're, we're, willpower X, where X is the number of cards in your hand. Each point you fail by, shuffle one card from your hand is your deck. Ow. Okay, so what do we got here? All right, so we need to make willpower six. Yikes. All right. We're planning to investigate this turn. Willpower of six. Well, if we play take the initiative, that'll change that. It won't be so bad, because we get seven versus five if we play take the initiative. Okay, that doesn't seem too bad. Okay, so we'll use take the initiative with the low, and we'll be at 7 versus 5 on this check. Okay, we're going to assuming that's a minus x, where x is the total number of guards in your hand. <laughs> so we're at 7 minus 5. Currently, we're at a 2 versus... Oh, gosh. We're at 2 versus 5. But we can discard any number of cards when we draw this token. So if we discard cards, we both lower the difficulty of the check, and we increase our result. Okay, so right now we're at 2 versus 5. Okay. If we discard this Lola Santiago, we go up to three versus four. Okay. So we're, we're shuffling one card back into our deck at this point. And then we'll discard the key. And do we, have to, do we choose or is it random? Okay, so we'll just choose to fail by one and we'll shuffle this into our deck. Yeah, we're at two versus five. Three versus four. Okay, we'll shuffle that into our deck. Okay, over here though, we have to make a willpower against difficulty four. Do we have, is there a clue at our location? Yes, so let's use Acquiring Mind. Yeah. Three, we'll do six versus three. Success, okay. That is an interesting, interesting test. Because committing skill cards, um, Lowers the difficulty and increases your uh, your test result. That's neat. Okay. Agenda two, missing hours. The guests are back to normal now, and you feel yourself regaining a hold on your mind as well. Everything is calm again, like the lull in a storm. None of the staff are acting, li are acting like this is unexpected. Have they been here so long that they've learned to live with it? The concierge has been at his, at his desk this whole time and doesn't seem to have noticed a thing. And when did the sun set? And when did the clock strike nine? Okay, so we got a weird memory thing going on, I guess. All right, so we're at, we have five more doom, and now we'll draw encounter cards. Becoming nobody. Go back and help who? Okay. Who are you? Choose an ally controlled by any investigator. Shuffle it into its owner's deck. Oh no, Jake. <laughs> okay. So we need four clues and four cards to um, advance this. Okay, Lola's planning to do this because if nothing else, it's um, victory points. Okay, too much for Lola Santiago, so we'll have her investigate. Okay, so we will have her go to Seeker and we'll use our fingerprint kit. So we're gonna be at five versus four. Yeah, oh, Lone Wolf. And then we'll use Take the Initiative. Okay, so we'll be at eight versus four. Minus two. Okay, so we get both those clues, and that'll give us another victory point. Okay. Okay, so right now we're doing okay on victory points. All right, so investigators have to be at his location. Discard four clues and f four clues and four cards at his location. Okay, so that was first action. Okay, what can we do to build up some more? I guess we need cards. Um, second action, draw card. Third action, draw card. Okay. Ursula, she's 
not in the elevator. So we're going to do, we've called the elevator, so we're good there. So what we'll do is first action, we'll move to the elevator. Second action, we'll, oh, right, we could have had, no, no we couldn't. That wouldn't have worked because Ursula is on the elevator. And she takes the elevator to the, to the 13th floor as her second action. Shortcuts in to the janitor's office. So she still has an action left. Okay. Do we use field work? Yeah, probably just in case we need to make a test. Okay. Oh, because that is probably going to be what our test is going to be. So let's take the test and then we'll uh, parlay. We'll advance next turn. Yeah, because we're going to be out of actions pretty soon here. So we're going to be at three, four, five, eight, versus five. Minus x, x is the total number of cards in hand. So we succeed, but not by two or more. So we discard this. Okay, that's good. Lola's going to get some experience. So this, this is, so I see what's going on here. It sounds like we're running into problems of this hotel. It seems to be like draining memories. Interesting. I wonder if the missing people are actually missing. Huh. Okay. So we finished our turns. We'll parlay. We'll use our action to parlay um, next turn. So we're going to draw cards and take resources. Nice. Not bad. Okay, and then we'll refresh that. Whoops. Okay, so we go to a new turn. We are at one doom out of five. What do we get? Thought Harvester. What the hell? You weren't supposed to see that. Hunter retaliate. Parlay. Discard two cards. Thought Harvester loses Hunter. Thought Harvester loses Hunter and exhaust, and you may disengage. When it attacks, you discard your hand. Oh, it's fighting. We gotta fight this guy, but we have no weapons. Oof. Okay, and now we have becoming nobodies. Okay, I have a feeling we're gonna have to get rid of these before this agenda advances again. All right, so we have a baddie now. Okay. What do we do about it? Okay, we can do two damage with a vicious blow. That's good. Um, right now we're at, if we swap over to um, Guardian, we'd be at four, five to fight it, which isn't too bad. Okay. So maybe we can just spend our time beating on this thing. Um, we also have decoy to evade it. Although our, eva yeah, our evasion is four right now. Okay. Okay, so let's spend our let's 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 beat this thing up. If I play the decoy first. Okay, so the question is, I, in three actions, I can beat this thing up. The question is, do I think I need to evade it? Because it's kind of nasty. Um, I could probably take it, though. Yeah, it'll be fine. Lola can take a hit at this point. So it's just, she's going to spend all her actions beating up this thing. Ursula, on the other hand, let's have her parlay. Let's get this done. Okay. So we need to spend four cards and four clues. Okay, so one, two, three, four. Okay, so it's between us. We need to spend four cards and four clues. We're probably not going to need the second fingerprint kit. Oh, gosh. There's a lot of good stuff here. All right, let's just one, two for sure. Three. How much I hate to say it. Four cards, okay. One to keep that because deal with this horror. Okay. Do that or we get rid of the unexpected courage. Now we need to fight this guy. So let's keep the uh, let's keep that and discard the look what I found. Okay, so we discard four cards and four clues as, as Ursula's first action and will advance. Now you are known. The longer you stay nearby, the harder it becomes to remember what you were doing here to begin with. With a massive force of will, you've let a few small memories slip away long enough to get to the janitor and explain why you've come. He pauses in his list of names and stares at you for a long time. I'm going to need to know your names, he says. An investigator at William Hebb's, lo William Hebb's location takes control of him. 
Okay, so what do we got? It adds to willpower. All right, so Lola's going to be in tank mode right now, so we'll have her take control of uh, William Hebb. I follow them sometimes. Never all the way to the end, but I know where they go. I can show you there, if you mean business, about putting a stop to it. I've been losing the war for a long time now. He turns the alligator key to the basement. The last thing I remember... It's the last thing I remember about the basement. It seems that you're going down. Place the missing room into play. Interesting. Okay, what do we got here? Missing room. Okay. Okay, so spawn the lost accountant here. If any investigator is present here during the mythos phase, any one investigator draws an additional encounter card. Okay, so it's in the basement. So we'll put it down here. It said the lost accountant is here. That'll be this guy. It attacks them without exhausting. If the lost accountant damages the investigator, that at play for. Oh, wow. Okay. This thing is kind of mean. Okay. The Forgotten Room. Down a hallway that you didn't see or don't remember seeing, there sits an unobtrusive gray metal door. No one mentioned any other rooms in the basement, and you're sure it wasn't on the floor plans you found. Behind there, your positive is your answer, but do you know enough to truly understand it? Are you sure you're seeing the whole picture? When the lost account accountant is defeated, we'll advance. Okay, so we got to defeat this guy. And he he's going to add copies of Never Remembered to our threat area. Oh, neat, so he attacks us in the XP. Wow, that's kind of cool. Okay, so first action, we parlayed. I've got Lola set up to fight this guy. Okay, we need to, we probably need to get rid of some of these because these things might be kind of nasty. Second action, we'll have Ursula help Lola here. Third action. Do we need more clues? We don't need any more clues. Okay, so I guess we're going to see if there's any victory points down here. Try to defeat the um, Thought Harvester, and then eventually then face the Lost Accountant. Okay, so we're going to have to go into the elevator. Yeah, we're going to have to go into the elevator. So third action, into the elevator. Okay. Lola is going to try to defeat this guy. So she's going to swap into Guardian. All right, first action attack at five versus three. Seems okay. Minus two. Okay, so we do two damage. Okay, so our attacks now are going to be at four versus three. So second action, let's attack at... Keep that for now. Second action, attack at four versus three. Ouch. Okay, and he retaliates. Ouch. So we're going to take some sanity, take some damage. Okay. Oh, discard two cards, draw three cards. Exhaust William Hub. Seems, seems neat. Okay, so third action we can't take him down, so let's use the decoy. Okay. Oh, and I forgot Lone Wolf. Okay, so we'll use the decoy to evade this guy. All right. That is all our turns. So now enemies. So he refreshes and engages Lola again. Okay. And that's it. So we're going to draw cards and get resources. New turn. We're at two out of two out of five doom. Getting counter cards. Oh no, we got two of these things now. <laughs> oh, we're gonna have to get out of it. We're gonna have to probably um, evade and leave one of them behind. Okay, now we've got a confused guest. Okay, this one we can deal with books. All right, so we'll start with Lola. She needs to deal with this thought harvester and get out of here. So right now she's at five versus three. Lone Wolf. Do we dump our, our unexpected courage and dig harder? Uh, I hate this. It's not actually, not actually a bad idea. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to use William Hub, discard these two, draw three cards. <laughs> One of them got, got sent to the bottom there. Oh, where did... Oh, no, not the... Uh-oh, one of them... What was it? Oh, the second vicious blow. There it is. Okay. Okay, so we draw three cards. Okay, this is looking better. 
yeah, Iktaka, this is when I needed you. Well, I need you like a turn ago. But after I deal with this guy's, after I deal with these two guys, Iktaka is going to be great to fight everything. Yeah. All right, so first, so non-action, I uh, use William Hebb. Second action, will attack. So now we're going to be at four, five versus three. Seven versus three, this is important. Success, okay, we can change rules. Okay, so we put this guy in the victory display. Okay, and we can change rules. All right, we're gonna keep having, now that Iktaka's coming in, I think we're gonna use Iktaka to um, beat this guy down. Okay, so she changes rules. We'll have her become a um, survivor, so she can evade. So she's gonna be at five versus three to evade. Okay. Brawl in the janitor's closet. Okay, so she evades this guy. Okay. Ursula, on the other hand, we're going to have her go in, into the basement. First action, she will use the elevator down to the basement. Okay. Um, let's not face this guy yet. <laughs> Seems nasty. Okay. Use the shortcut. We'll go into the workshop. There's a clue here. Search your deck for a tactic and put it into your hand. Oh, that's neat. So she can grab the second shortcut as an action. Okay, it has a clue. But there's no um, there's no victory points here, so... I don't think we... Uh, I don't think... We... Oh, we had to do this. Oh, whoops. Um, so let's roll back and we'll say our first action was... Um, parlaying with a confused guest. So we're going to be at four versus three. Do that. Yeah. Yeah, we'll do that. Four versus three. Ouch, so we fail. Use lucky dice. Don't have to exhaust those. Four versus three. Also a failure. Ooh, we have to draw a memory. Oh, that's mean. Okay. We don't want that one. Don't want that one. This one was the funny one, so we'll draw that. <laughs> okay. So. Rolling back. First action, we were up here when we did this. We fail. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll say our first action, we fail, we pick up, how did I get here? And we ended up in the basement. Okay, so that kind of keeps everything, um, keeps everything pretty stable. Okay, so first action, we try to evade this guy. Um, we fail, we end up in the basement. Second action, we'll try to parlay again. Four versus three. Success. So we defeat him and discard and draw a card. Okay. Don't need the clue. Third action, we'll move to this boiler to this boiler room here. The heat of the boiler reaches you even through the door. The smell of burning dust filters through the air, making you wonder when it was last cleaned down here. Okay, there's a clue. And a victory point down here. Whenever an investigator here draws a card and investigates. Oh, test agility. If you fail, take a damage. <laughs> nice, because it's hot down here. In fact, it's both hot and filthy. You feel like any misstep during your search here might end with your poor hands burned or sliced open on something rusty. Ouch. Okay, so we've moved in. Um, we're going to use our free investigate with field work to investigate this. So we're going to be at four, five, six, seven, eight versus three. We succeed, grab the clue and a victory point, and then we're going to have to test, um, invest test uh, agility. Okay, success, so we don't take damage. Okay, so first action, we tried to parlay but failed. Um, ended up down here. Second action, we moved. Uh, second action, we parlayed again. Third action, we moved and investigated. Okay, now we're set. We've uh, we've rolled it back and everything's looking good. Okay, so enemy phase. Lola gets the uh, Thought Harvester back. Okay, and then we're going to refresh, draw cards, and take resources. Correct the case. Okay. New turn. Okay, let's see what we get. How did I get here? Move to another room with no investigator and on a different floor, then exhaust two of your assets. Okay. <laughs> so where's she going to end up? Uh, different floor. I don't know. <laughs> this is funny. Okay, so we're going to end up... <laughs> All right, so I think the uh, she's probably going to need some, some help here. So she's going to end up back in her room with a Thought Harvester. <laughs> All right, and then oh, we've got another confused guess. 
Okay. Okay, so she's, she's got to evade this thing. Because I'm not going to be able to do enough damage in one turn. It's going to be tough without a weapon. Alright, it's fine. Okay, so we'll evade. We're going to be at 4, 5 to evade. 5 minus 2 is 3, and we fail thanks to 13th Vision. Oh no! Okay. Oh, we were supposed to exhaust two assets already. Oh, and Lone Wolf. Okay, so we exhaust that. Second action, we'll evade again. Five versus three. Success. So he's evaded. I guess we got to leave him in our room and get out of here. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so we're, we'll be back in the lounge. Okay. Okay, so first action, second action, third action. Okay. We could discover a clue. I don't think we need any clues. Well, we might need clues to fight him, so we'll have Lola discover a clue for us in the lob in the uh, lounge. Turns out she's been in the lounge the whole time. Um, okay, so that is all three of our actions with Lola, and now Ursula. We got a parley. We got a parley with us again. Four versus three. We're discovering is pretty nasty, so we'll go to six versus three. Success. So we, just, we discard this and draw a card. Another shortcut. Very nice. Okay, so she's already in the basement where we need to be to deal with this accountant, but gosh. I don't know how she's going to be able to deal with it. Plus, once it engages, we're going to... it's going to hit us. Okay, so what do we need to do? Maybe we can go into the manager's office. I wonder if our weapons are in there. I like it. Yeah, I wonder if our weapons are in the manager's office. Oh, that would be so great. Okay, so first action we evade. Second action, we call the elevator. Okay. Third action, we play Pathfinder. Okay. Use Pathfinder. Whoops. Go into the elevator. Okay. Then we that'll that'll end our turn. Okay. Yep. That'll end our turn. Okay. Uh, Baddies refresh. Now we'll draw cards and take resources. Track shoes. That's useful. Getting around and evading things. Okay. All right. New turn. Okay, so that's going to advance soon. So we need to, I guess, build up, maybe clear some of these memories away, these um, becoming nobodies away, clear our weaknesses, and then build up. I think we're going we're gonna to have Ursula try to get into the here, I think. See what we get, though. Whispering Remnant. Okay, another spirit. Okay, and another spirit. Okay, so we have some willpower checks to make to deal with these guys. Okay, so fortunately, um, Lola is at four, five, six against two. So, Lone Wolf. Test. Six against two. Minus two. So we'll succeed. Okay, and then we have to test again to see if we lose a clue. We do not. Okay. First action, we did that. Okay, second action, let's get over our weakness. As much as I want to put the track shoes down, we need to get rid of our weakness. And Lola Santiago has been chilling out, making friends in the lounge, so she will get a clue. <laughs> okay, Ursula, she also has a remnant to deal with, with willpower. Okay. We don't want to take any AOs. So what are we at? We're at three versus two with willpower. Not the best. I could take an AO. Because um, if I take an AO, I can move the um, elevator, and then I can start using shortcuts and field works. No, let's not do that. Let's just take it. All right, first action. Fight. Okay. Failure. Yep. Because we're at three versus two. Okay. Second action, fight again. Nice. Okay, so we defeat that. Now we got to see if we lose a clue. We're going to be at three versus, I think, three for that. Yeah, we lose. We put a clue in the elevator. We didn't need it, though, I don't think. Okay, that was our second action. Oh, this isn't going to work so well because we need an action to get into the manager's office. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. Third action, we're going to move the elevator. Okay. 
Then we'll shortcut into the Thirsty Lion. Okay, now we'll use our freebie Investigate with field work. At four, we're going to be at eight versus four. Success. So we grab this clue. I don't know if we need it, but we've got it. And then we'll Pathfinder back over to the uh, back into the elevator. Okay. <laughs> Weird, but f funny. Okay, so that's all our actions. So we'll draw cards. Turn to the flame. And a weakness. Not good. Okay. New turn. This is going to advance. Okay. Lost souls. It's getting worse. It was a lull. You can only barely keep your wits about you as the minutes blur together and your memories of your own investigation start to leave you. You know you found something important, but damned if you could say what it was. Your notes are all you have to guide you now, but you've done more with less. You just hope you'll be able to stop this before you lose too much. To test willpower, if we fail, must shuffle their hand back into their deck. Ow. Oh, okay, so Lola, she is at four, five, six. I don't think we're going to need clues anymore, so we'll go seven. Oh, no. Okay, so buy track shoes, buy Octaka. Okay. Ursula here. She's testing at three versus four. Oh, that's not good. Make that five versus four. Success. Okay, so she keeps her hand. Okay, what do we need to do now? Okay, Ursula's going to try to get into the manager's office. We'll do that first. Okay, non-action Pathfinder, and use field work. Uh, let's do shortcut instead. Although there is a chance that Lola is going to... Yeah, we'll use, we'll use... There's a chance that Lola is going to end up getting onto the elevator this turn, so we'll use Pathfinder. Okay, go into the manager's office, use field work. Okay. First action, we'll try to break into the manager, sneak into the manager's office. So we're going to be at four, five, six versus three. Seems good. Nice. Okay, we make it on the nose and we reveal the manager's office. Oh, sweet. One clue, and we can test agility or strength. And if we succeed, search the confiscated weapons and put one into your hand. Oh, that's exactly what we needed. But Ursula doesn't need the weapons. Lola needs the weapons, but Lola, but it sounds like Ursula is like lock, unlock that door, so that way Lola can come down here and go grab her stuff. So Ursula doesn't need these. Lola does. Okay. Okay. So first action. So that was our first action because we pathfindered in. Okay. So we have two actions left. Let's get rid of this before it starts really hurting us. Okay. Oh, not over there. It goes down here. Okay, another possibility is we can throw down this shortcut too, um, because we know that Lola's going to come down here. Yeah, it seems fine. It looks like that's the last room we're going to have to go into. So we will, or we can have her throw it down on the elevator. A second shortcut in the elevator? That sounds even better. All right. So that was our three actions. Now Lola. Start with a uh, Lone Wolf. Okay, I don't think we're going to be able to fight that. She needs to come down here and go get her manager's office. Sadly, summoning the elevator is only once a turn. Okay, so she can go call the elevator, move in. That's two actions, but she can't move out. So I guess we can have her like get clues or draw cards. Yeah. First Lola, she's she's chatty, so she'll get a clue. Okay. So we're gonna go first action, call the elevator. Okay, because we gotta do that. Second action, draw. Okay. Third action, move on to the elevator. Okay. Seems fine. Okay, that's all our actions. So now we'll okay draw cards, gain resources. Okay. New turn. So I have a feeling we're gonna have to start hurrying up. Why are we here? You vaguely remember coming here for something important. Were you meeting someone? That doesn't sound right. Though you do meet a lot of people in your business, you still remember your business. You can keep more moving forward, but should you? Does it even matter anymore? Oh, wow. <laughs> Resign. There's no reason for us to be here. Might as well pack up. Okay. So we're going to go get armed. We're going to have Lola get armed, and then we're going to get ready to go into the basement next turn. Okay. 
There's an, another agenda left. This is the last act, though. Okay. Here we go. What hit me? Reveal at least two icons on cards in your hand or take a damage. If you reveal cards, discard one of them or take a damage. Okay, so why am I bleeding? All right, we'll just take a damage. Um, what hit me? Why am I bleeding? That's neat. Okay. Loose thoughts. Test willpower at three. For each point you fail by, search the encounter deck and discard for a whispering remnant and spawn it at your location. That's Oh, that's awful. Okay, so we're going to be at three versus three. I wish we kept the Tooth of Esli. We have Lucky Dice to back us up. Whispering Remnant. For each point you failed by. We don't really have a lot of options to boost this, unless we want to burn the shortcut. Alright, we're just going to have to take it. Oh, wow, we succeed. Okay, good. Alright. So we need to have Lola go get some weapons. So we'll have Lola go first. Uh, first action, uh, well, not non-action, we'll have Lola Santiago. She investigates the elevator and gets a clue. I don't know if we need it, but it's funny. Okay. First action. Goes down here. Use shortcut, go in here. So she has two action left. Okay, it takes an action to do that. All right, so it's... We're going to do one, two, three, four... Five versus three. Makes that six versus three on the evasion check to go grab a weapon. One, two, three, four, five, six versus three. Success. So she's going to get the enchanted blade. Okay. Last action. Probably should get rid of that. See that or grab another enchanted blade. She, I think she can deal with it with one in one set of enchanted blade charges. Okay, so third action she'll um, she can move back to the elevator. In fact, yeah, it seems even better. Okay, so Ursula here. Okay, she's already called the elevator, so we can't do that again. So she has three actions to do whatever with. You can investigate, crack the case. Seems useful. Okay. First action, four, five, six versus three. Oh, success and a free move. So she'll do that. She'll play crack the case to get resources. Okay. And a free move to the elevator. Okay. We can't move the elevator again. Once per turn as a group. Okay. So I guess we'll draw cards and maybe play the Pathfinder. Nah, we'll just draw cards. Second action, draw cards. Third action, draw card. Okay. Okay, so... Oh, I forgot to have this guy hunt. Or did I forget? Okay, so he hunts. He's not connected, so he stays up on that floor. He goes. He's going to go talk to people. Okay. Okay, refresh and draw cards. Okay, good stuff, Peter Sylvester. Good stuff, emergency cash. All right, new turn. Once again, what hit me? Okay, so she's going to take a damage. Okay. What do we got here? A Whispering Remnant. Okay, so we got to use willpower. Okay. So what do we need to do here? We need to get down there and start dealing with the Lost Accountant, I think. All right, what do we got? Well, Lola's also got to play her Enchanted Blade before we do that. So I think we're going to have Ursula go first, and then she'll burn her action on moving the elevator, because Lola's going to be better at fighting that thing. Okay. First action, she'll um, use her willpower on this guy. Yeah, she's not so good at it, though. Three versus two. Mm. Oh, well, he adds two. So that's four versus two, because she's at his location. Okay, we'll try it. Uh, minus two, and that's a success. So we do that. And then we'll um, see if she loses a card. She does not, sorry, lose a clue. She does not lose a clue. 
All right, that was our first action. Second action, we'll send this party downstairs. Okay. Do we have her engage the lost accountant? No, we'll play with Jake first. Third action, Jake. Okay. Now we'll pathfind in to the missing room. And she's gonna take the hit. Oh, that's revealed. That is the revealed side. Okay. Okay, so she the lost accountant engages Ursula and attacks her. Okay. Okay, so that was supposed to be revealed, so Jake was supposed to be able to trigger. Oh, okay. Okay. So the lost account account engages her and attacks her. So Jake take is uh she, he's a dude, so he'll take the hit. Okay. Probably should have oh I probably should have saved an action to evade. What did I do? Gates. I went deal with that thing. Elevator down. Jake move in. Uh that's what I did. Okay. It's probably dumb. Damn, it didn't... Okay, so she gets a copy of Never Remembered. That was not smart of me. I'm probably going to use a couple more of these. Okay, so she gets Never Remembered. Okay. It's going to attack her again unless Lola takes it out or... Um, we don't want to take it out completely. <laughs> Alright, so Lola's probably going to see about evading this guy. Yeah, this was not smart. Okay, so first, this from Lone Wolf. She has to, she's got to have a weapon. Okay. So first action, then we'll shortcut in. So she can engage it and then evade it. That's probably the smartest thing. So that way uh, it doesn't attack Ursula again. Okay, I really messed that part up. Okay, engage and evade. Okay. Ah, oh, but when it engages, it immediately attacks. Okay, I think I messed this up, but it's okay. So we'll uh, we'll use our uh, we'll start attacking this guy, and hope we don't hurt Ursula. Oh, we can also do this while we're still a survivor. Okay, that seems good. Okay, so while we're still a survivor, we'll test against Never Remembered, because we're not going to take it out this turn. Four, five, six. Versus five. Ouch. I don't think we're going to use Peter. Six versus five. So seven versus five, and we succeed. Okay. So that gets discarded. Okay, that was second action. Third action. Now we'll go into Guardian and attack. Four, five, six. Versus four. Oh, no. Now we hit Ursula. That's no good. Okay. Okay. Oh, this is getting tense. Okay, so now the lost account attacks Ursula. So it's going to take out Jake and do a damage to Ursula. Okay, and attacks her and damages her. So she's going to add never remembered. Okay. All right, that was the baddies. So we're going to refresh our stuff, draw cards. Okay. Okay. Okay, new turn. Boom, boom. What do we got? A thought harvester. Oh no. Another baddie. Lost time. Discard three cards, lose two actions, or add a doom to the current agenda. Oh, that's like the worst time for that to happen. I think we're gonna have to lose cards. Alright, so I don't think I don't see us playing crack the case. I don't see us needing this fingerprint kit either, and I don't see us needing any more resources, so maybe that's okay. Alright. So we're going to try to take this guy out. That would have been nice to deal with this guy as well and get another victory point. And we need to get rid of this before... Um, yeah, we need to get rid of this before uh, we just defeat the Lost Accountant. Okay, so what we really need to do is we really need to have Ursula evade this Lost Accountant. 
Okay, and we have Call of the Unknown. We have the workshop. Or she can investigate the hotel elevator. Okay. So we're gonna we're gonna mark Call of the Unknown for the elevator. Okay, we'll have Ursula go first. Yeah, because if Lola goes first, she's gonna want to spend an action on the Never Remembered. And then she can fight the Thought Harvester twice and then get rid of Never Remembered. That actually seems even better. Okay. So we'll have Lola go first. First action, fight the Thought Harvester. We're going to be at six. Whoops. Ah. We're going to be at six versus three. Success, so two damage. Fight the Thought Harvester again at six versus three. Minus X and minus two, so success. So we, whoops, that was supposed to have two damage on it. Okay, so we defeat this, um, we defeat this Thought Harvester here and get a victory point. Okay, but we're out of charges. However, we have this. Okay, but we have to do five damage to that. Okay. Third action, we'll test never remembered. Swap to survivor four, five, six versus five. Not the best, but we have live and learn. Yeah, <laughs> oh, glad we have live and learn. Okay, so now we're at eight versus five. Oh, on the nose, okay. Okay, so now Ursula is gonna start her turn, name that, and we're gonna evade the lost accountant. Oh, wow, it's gonna attack Lola, isn't it? Not much we can really do about that. Okay. Evade the Lost Accountant. Four versus three. We can razzle dazzle with shortcut though. Alright, here we go. Non action play shortcut. Use the shortcut. Move into the elevator. Use Ursula's ability, um, since it won't provoke, to investigate the elevator. She looks around the elevator. Success. Alright, so we deal with Call of the Unknown. Okay. Use this shortcut. Back into here. Oh, she drug it in there. Uh, I got an idea. Back into here. Use field work. Okay. Oh, we're supposed to draw another Mistos card. I will do that right now for Lola. Okay, so she takes another damage. Okay. Okay. So we drag this guy into here, use field work. So we've not taken any actions yet. Now we'll evade this guy at six versus three. Nice, okay, so he's evaded. Okay, so now we can just leave the, uh, we can leave the lost accountant behind. Okay, so that was first action. Second action, we can grab a tactic. Uh, I don't know if she has any more. So we'll, second action, go back to the missing room. Okay. Okay, so now we've got a little break here for dealing with this guy. Third action, we don't need resources, so we'll draw a card. Okay. Whew, that was uh, getting kind of tight there. Okay, so now enemies, and we'll refresh, draw cards, get resources. Truck shoes, and emergency cash. Okay, new turn. What are we at? Four out of five. Let's see if we can take this guy down this turn. Lost time. Discard three cards, lose two actions, or add a doom to the current agenda. Okay, so we're in the witching hour anyway, so that's okay. Another whispering remnant. Okay. So how can we take this guy down this turn? We're gonna have to have we haven't done any damage to this guy. We've got active, between Active Desperation and two Enchanted Blade Shots, that's four damage. So it looks like, is Ursula going to have to deal a damage to this? I don't think that's even possible. <sighs> Alright, what's the plan here? We could also wait another turn, go back up, get another weapon. Okay, so if Ursula, so if, when Lula attacks this guy, she is at five versus four.
Hmm. Five for four isn't very reliable. All right, we're gonna have to go up and get another weapon. I think. Okay, that means we have to use the elevator. Do we want both of them to be on the elevator? Not really. There's no need for that. Unless we want to go deal with that guy too. But I don't know how much time we have left here. Okay, so we need to get Lola on the elevator. We can get. Do we need to get Ursula on the elevator? Not really. Oh, we had to draw another card because of the missing room. So we'll have Lola draw another one. Loose thoughts. Okay, so we need to make this. Four, five, six versus three. Success, okay. Okay. So we need to, Ursula's gonna have to deal with this. And she's gonna have to probably investigate the elevator. We'll have, we'll have her deal with this, investigate the elevator and then stop. And then do whatever while Lola comes in, sends the elevator up, goes into there to grab that. Okay. Could have Ursula get a, get a Derringer. There's no harm in that, really, at this point. I mean, I guess we can have her draw more cards and maybe flip her deck back over, but that might mean, that means more never remembered. Then they're gonna come back to haunt us. Okay. So, we also need Lola to probably get rid of these. Okay, so we're going to have Ursula go first. Call the unknown here. First action, deal with this guy. Three versus two. No, better. Shortcut. She shortcuts in, uses field work. Won't take the free investigate. So she'll be at five versus two to defeat this guy. Success. Okay, test to see if she loses a clue. She does not. Okay, so that was first action. Second action. We don't want to use that. I probably should use Eureka there. Uh, second action, we'll investigate. And we'll be at four, five, six versus two to investigate the elevator. Success, so we take care of that. Third action, this Pathfinder might be handy, but let's have her draw a card. Mr. Rook, very nice, very nice. More soak. Okay, Lola. She gains a resource from Lone Wolf, moves in, first action move, second action move the elevator, use the shortcut, okay. Third action, let's go grab a weapon. She's gonna be at four, five versus three. Success, an exhaust an asset, so yeah. She gets another enchanted blade into hand, and then I think next turn we'll maybe grab a Derringer. Okay. That's all our actions. Hunters would hunt, but there's nowhere to hunt. Okay, refresh those. Cards, resources. Peter, nice. Mr. Rook, also nice. Okay, so new agenda. Okay, let's see what happens here. Why would we leave? What were you thinking? You can't leave. There was something, something so very important here. You had to do something. You can't leave now. You need to stay. Also, you can't quite seem to remember the way to the door. But that's okay. You're getting better at holding on to the things you need to remember and letting go of everything else. You fear that letting go might be the wrong thing to do, but it's hard to think of any reasons beyond the fear itself. At least you still have your notes. The investigation can go on for a little while anyway. For each card in an investigator's hand, they must either discard a card or lose a resource. Oof. Fortunately, Lola has a lot of resources, so she'll lose four... And, oh, this is the hard one. Let's either discard a card or lose a resource. Well, we don't need any more clues. I don't think we need the Pathfinder anymore. 
and I think we're only going to need one copy of Mr. Rook. So we'll lose three resources, which is enough to play Mr. Rook. Okay. Empty shells. There's nothing left. You stopped trying to reach for anything in your mind some time ago. How long, you can't know. All you have are your notes, the physical evidence you've collected, and the fact that your mind still seems to be working on full tilt, even if you can't hold on to any of what it tells you. You can walk. You are armed, and you are not alone. It will have to be enough. You are almost done. All cards lose parlay. Okay. Oh, so that means, like, you know, whatever we draw here. Okay, here we go. Counter cards. It must have worked. Spend an ammo, or spend a supply or charge. If you succeed, you not draw a card during the next Mythos phase. Oh, we can discard our supply from the fingerprint kit. All right, so we supply, and we test books at three. If you succeed, do not draw an encounter card during the next Mythos phase. Nice. Okay, so we want to fail. We want to succeed at this because that's going to save us an encounter card. Currently, we are at three, four versus three on this, which is bad. Okay, we're probably going to be fighting this guy, so we probably want to be in Guardian here. Our, yeah, and our lore isn't so bad in Guardian. Okay, so we're going to be at 3, 4, 5 versus 3. Okay. Success. Okay, so let's remember this, that we're not going to have to draw a card during the Mythos phase. Next turn. Ooh, same thing happens here, but we have no um, charges to get rid of, so she's going to take a damage. Oh, that's, that's all for Ursula. Yep. Okay, so Ursula is, is defeated. Okay, it's all you, Lola. It's all you. Okay. Okay. All right, Lola. Finish this. Okay, so here's how we're gonna do this. She could probably do it in one enchanted blade. Between that and active desperation. I don't think she's going to make it this turn, but she'll make it next turn, and she's not going to get a Mythos card. She's probably going to have to lose an experience, though, because it's going to attack her. Wish we had Decoy. Nope, that won't work because it's Elite. Okay, here we go. First action. Play this Enchanted Blade. Second action, move. Third action, call the elevator. Uh, send the elevator down here. we, we got to do it that way. So next turn, we'll shortcut in and start attacking. Oh, Lone Wolf. Do we use William Webb? William Hebb here? Probably not. Well, we could dump these and get better cards. Okay, we'll do that. We'll use Hebb. Dump these, get better cards. Oh, Crisis of Identity. Okay, so we control one Guardian card, so we either discard it or take a Horror. Uh, rather, Lolo, t Lolo Santiago take a Horror. Then we discard this, and we become a Survivor. Okay. End of the turn. End of her turn. So we'll draw cards and get resources. Decoy. Except the problem is this guy's elite. I would love to use Decoy on him, on this accountant here, but he's elite too bad. Okay. New turn. One doom out of four. Oh, we don't draw that. Whoops. So we shuffle that back in. Okay, Lola, here we go. Shortcut. Our, our, well, first, are we ready to take this guy? I think we are. He's going to beat us to an inch of our life when we engage him. But got to do what we got to do. Okay. Shortcut. Okay, make sure I'm doing everything correct. Yeah. Engage the lost accountant. He hits us. Two in a horror. So we're going to lose the fine clothes and take a damage. Heb is useful here. So what we're going to do with Heb is we're going to have, since we don't need these, we might still need these evasion pips. We might need that next turn. Heb, not very useful right now. Okay. First action, attack with the Enchanted Blade. 
switch to guardian? Or do I evade him first? Now we're going for it. First action, attack with the Enchanted Blade. We are at four, five, six versus four. Eight versus four. Oh, no. And he retaliates, doesn't he? No, he doesn't. Oh, thank God. Okay. So we miss. Second action, attack again. Six versus four. Success. Okay. So the bad news is, is um, whether we evade him or not, like he's gonna get another attack on us. So, oh yeah, we had to take a uh, never remembered. Are there any left? Yes. Okay, so Lola's losing XP. Okay. Fortunately, there are no more never remembered to take. Okay. Okay, we can lose our allies next. Third action. I think it's active desperation time. No, we'll use that on a, on a spent enchanted blade. See, the problem with evading him is that he refreshes, engages us again, and then immediately attacks us. Okay. So third action attack again. Six versus four success okay sweet so we've got four out of five damage on him enemy phase he attacks us for two damage and a horror so I think we're gonna lose web here and take a damage tight or do we lose Lola and take a damage yeah I don't think we're gonna need those I don't think we're going to need this. So here's what we're going to do. Before we lose Heb, we're going to use him. Although we know there's another weakness in there. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, there it is. Okay. So we do this. We flip our deck back over. Okay. So we do this. Then we have one Guardian asset. So we'll take a Horror. Discard that. Nice. <laughs> we discarded our weakness. So we become neutral. Okay, so then that's gone. Okay. So we have Ektaka for more um, more soak if we need it. Okay, so now, we, uh, so now we'll have it attack us. So we use that during the uh, action window before it attacks. Now we'll have it take out Lola Santiago, I think, because I don't think we're going to need the part. We're going to need these anymore. Oh, there was a clue to get. Sure. <laughs> Just in case it matters. Thanks, Lola. <laughs> okay, so we deal one and one to Lola. And then we take one ourselves. So, last legs here. We can't take any more damage. Well, we can take one more damage. Okay, this is the enemy phase. Upkeep. Okay. Doom. No bad stuff. So now this is it. We're going to take this guy down. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to um, attack twice with the Enchanted Blade at 5 versus 4. Third time we'll use the Act of Desperation. And we'll throw everything into it. We've also got Live and Learn. Okay, so here we go. Yeah, that has to be another Investigator. Okay. First action attack at five versus four minus two ouch forgot about that part draw memory cap okay. so we fail get a memory from here whispering remnants are bad we could just add a doom now that'd be really bad Okay, so I guess we get, it must have worked. Okay, so we 
Oh, we have to... No, so we can't do either one. So we take a damage. Oh, let's not do that, because damage is kind of bad right now. So what are other options? We can do Lost Time. Discard three cards, lose two, one, two actions, or add a Doom to the agenda. Add a Doom to the agenda. Uh, this is it. We are all in, ladies and germs. Or even better, we draw it, and then we just use... Um, we use our Ward of Protection to cancel it. Take a horror. We then remember Lone Wolf. Okay. Okay. So that was all in response to the um, Cultist token, causing us to fail. Now we'll play Live and Learn, and we'll try again. We're going to be at four, five, six, seven versus four. Success. Okay, so we do a damage to the Lost Account and defeat him. Okay, so now we advance. So we didn't have to do that. Okay. Advance the Forgotten Room. All right. Is it over? The shell of a man collapses. You can already feel yourself beginning to remember things from the past few hours that you would have sworn you didn't experience before. If there are any unrevealed locations or any clues left on any locations, it's over. You've broken the hold of the curse over this hotel. Time to get out of here and not look back. If there are any unrevealed locations or any clues left on any locations, okay, it's over. But if there are no unrevealed locations and no clues left in any locations, everything you've discovered so far forms a shape in your minds. There's a hole in reality here, a distinct form absent from memory. You've clipped part of it, but you know for sure that it's not done yet because you know it knows. It. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. So you could, I guess there was like an extra special boss if there were, um, if we had extra special boss fight, if we had um, cleared all the rooms out. Wonky. How does he look? Oh, he lets you get to, like, resolution two. That's interesting. Yeah, although we were kind of at the end of our ropes here. Oh, that's interesting. Like, over-succeeding on, um, like, oh, like getting all the clues spawns an additional boss fight. Okay, so we get resolution one. Okay. Okay, we reach an event. All right, here we go. Resolution one. The accountant has the key. Not even Heb can remember his name, and you yourself only know his title because of the holes in the bigger picture. He was forgotten, or perhaps made forgotten, and left to die in the basement who knows how long ago. And from there, his curse crept out, poisoning the hotel and slowly cutting other unwary travelers out of reality. He must have sensed you closing in and directed it toward you, or perhaps it was just bad luck. Either way, you've taken care of it, and the Grand Oaks patrons are safe. Okay, so we get experience equal to the victory, the total value of the victory display which is two of these guys. And we also get one, two, three from locations. That's correct. Okay, so we have five XP, we have five victory points. If an investigator controls William Hebb, proceed to parting gifts. Okay, we do, so let's go to parting gifts. And then we're gonna have to test some of these things. Okay, all right. So parting gifts, we'll do, handle that, okay. Each investigator may add a copy of Grand Oak Memento to their decks. So that will be these right here. When you discard any number of cards from your deck, discard Grand Oak Memento and put one of those cards into your hand. Seems okay. Well, it adds a... Yeah, we'll, we'll see about that. Okay. Heb has a lot of old stuff saved up from the guests that never made it out. Each investigator that was not defeated may add any item card to their deck that costs three experience or less at no cost. This does count our deck size, but may ignore class limits. Oh, interesting. So that's like extra XP. And we may now call on William Head when needed. He can add into a deck at a cost of 1 XP per scenario. That's an interesting cost. And we didn't smuggle any weapons in, so our karma does not hurt us. Okay. What do we got here? Now we'll test that. Okay. Each investigator tests that. The investigator with the lowest results adds a copy of Never Remember to their deck. So one of us is getting it. Okay. So Irsul is defeated, so Chess should have to make the test. I don't know. Probably not. Okay. So Lola is going to test willpower. She's going to get the lowest result, and she's going to get never remembered. Okay, so this is going to stay in her deck. Okay. I'm guessing this implies the other ones don't stay in her deck, but I'll look into that. Okay, so we have parting gifts, and now let's see the, the epilogue here. There's going to be a lot of cleanup, Heb tells you. All those forgotten people just rotting downstairs in, or in their rooms. Hell, I think we remodeled the place at least once and forgot to put the door to the stairs back in. He shakes his head, but with a determined look in his eye. You can only imagine the strength of character it would take to go through all that and keep your job as a janitor. 
It's not a bad gig, he says with a smile, noticing your look. I bet you put up with more crap for less money. He's not wrong. One thing before you go, though, he says. If you ever need any help, and I mean with anything, you just call. First plane out, and I'm on it. You promise you'll do so. Good. You saved my life, and who knows how many others. It's only fair I repay you. And call me Will. Heb's a work name. I think we're a bit past that. Oh, so that was actually a fun scenario. Um, it was neat that the all the encounter cards were totally original. Um, I think I, I'm not sure what was going on here with these. Like, not sure what was going on here with these. Maybe there's some. Maybe there's something we uh, didn't experience. Like maybe from the final boss or something. Um, not sure what was going on here with those. That's the only uh, mystery that I think is unsolved. Um, but on that, I think uh, it went well. It took out Ursula. I just barely clipped her down on damage, but uh, I think I had a good time. I had a good time with this one. Um, I think some of the wording kind of needs a little bit more cleanup, um, especially now that we have modern templating for a lot of uh, interesting effects. Like the lobby, that needs to be not putting clues on this location, but like spend a clue to put a resource on the location, because um, it you know so it doesn't interact with like weird stuff. Okay, but uh, other than a few cl uh, bits of cleanup, this was a really this is actually a really good scenario, I think. Um, I liked the, the whole concept of um, fading memories and discarding cards from your hand and a lot of willpower tests involving that. It was neat that you didn't bring weapons. I guess we could, and it would have cost us some karma in the end, but we couldn't bring weapons, which made these guys tougher. Um, but most of the, uh, it looks like, you know, most of the baddies here, they all have ways to parley with them. Um, I noticed the spirits and the lost guests have ways to parley with them. So this was actually a really good scenario. Um, and uh, speaking of, um, I highly recommend checking out ArkhamCentral.com. Uh, this is a um, site hosted by Nathan um, of Great Old Ones Gaming, and he hosts lots and lots of um, fan-created content for all of you to use, and that includes this scenario right here. Um, and if you want to order a copy for yourself, uh, I noticed the uh, creator of this scenario has made a link to... Um, made a link to go um, order yourself your own copy. And it's actually pretty reasonably priced. looks like you get one copy for, uh, let it load. Um, last I saw, it was about 13 pounds. Yeah, there it is. So for about 13 pounds plus shipping, you can uh, have a copy of the scenario for yourself, which, I mean, that's about the price of a standalone. So that's, uh, that's really great. Um, it's nice that he's put all this together um, for all of us to just um, go over there and uh, take a look at it. So I'll put a link to this, um, to this page and this page in the description. I highly recommend checking this one out. I really had a good time with this one. So um, once again, thank all of you for watching and have a great night.